In today's video, we are going to look at another commonly used futures thinking tool. In this case, it's the futures cone, also known as the cone of plausibility. Now, this is a tool that helps us to visualize different types of futures, possible, probable, and preferable. Futures cone is structured into three main categories normally, although it has been adapted in various ways by certain groups and organizations. Three categories are normally possible, probable and preferable futures. So possible futures encompass all scenarios that could happen regardless of their likelihood. So this can include some real wild card out there thinking. Probable futures are those that are more likely to occur based on current trends and data. Preferable futures are the ones that we desire to achieve that reflect our goals and values. Sometimes there are also preposterous futures in some models, and these are outcomes that are currently deemed impossible, but could become possible with significant changes in the world around us. So if we look into possible futures, uh, this category includes all conceivable scenarios, even those that seem unlikely. Exploring possible futures encourages us to think creatively and consider a wide array of potential developments. It's important not to dismiss any scenario too quickly, as even unlikely events can have significant impacts. And as we know, particularly from recent history, the future can be incredibly hard to predict with any degree of accuracy. Probable futures are grounded in current trends and forecasts. They normally have a good amount of data backing up their consideration. They represent what is likely to happen if existing patterns continue. This category is crucial for strategic planning as it helps organizations plan and prepare for expected changes. By analyzing probable futures, we can identify opportunities and threats that are coming potentially in the near term. Preferable futures are those that we are actively working towards because they align with our values and goals. Shaping these futures requires intervention and strategic action to steer developments in a favorable direction. So this aspect of the cone emphasizes the role of our control, our agency in creating a future that we desire. Sounds good, so how do we do that? What is a, a good application of the cone of plausibility? Firstly, start with current trends. Um, by analyzing current trends and projecting them into the future, it's possible to identify probable scenarios. And this can form the basis of your cone. Second step is to explore uncertainties. So here we identify key uncertainties and variables that could influence future outcomes. This will help in mapping out plausible and possible futures beyond the probable ones. At this point, don't be scared to imagine catastrophic or world changing events as, as we just mentioned, it's very hard to know exactly what the future holds or even roughly what the future holds. So the point of this exercise is to expand your thinking and to not rule anything out too soon. Then we can use some scenarios for exploration. So we de develop these scenarios within each category of future in the cone to understand how different factors might interact and lead to those various futures. So this can help in stress testing strategies against different potential outcomes. It's important to incorporate diverse perspectives during this exercise. So you want to engage stakeholders from different backgrounds, departments, job roles, experiences, and so on. So you can get the most diverse range of insights and challenge existing assumptions or concrete ways of working that have been long established and rarely get questioned. Finally, you want to iterate and update, regularly revisit and update this cone as new information emerges or as trends shift. This ensures that your scenarios remain relevant and useful for strategic planning. 
Even better is to actually use the information that you're generating from this and any other futures exercise and link it to strategic planning. So use the insights gained from this cone of plausibility to inform strategic planning and help the organization prepare for a range of possible futures rather than, rather than just one predicted or expected outcome. And when presenting these findings, clearly communicate the range of possible futures and their implications to stakeholders, emphasizing that the future is not predetermined, but is shaped by almost infinite interacting factors. So in conclusion, the futures cone can help you, your organization, or you, if you model it on your personal life, you individually, Embrace uncertainty and complexity by visualizing different future scenarios. It can provide a strategic advantage in helping you prepare for multiple potential outcomes. It's a very useful tool. It's not that difficult to apply. You can whip up a futures cone in quite a small workshop within a couple of hours. And generally speaking, people find it a fun, creative activity, which can then generate some very useful tactical and strategic outcomes. I hope this video has been helpful. If you had any questions about the cone of plausibility or the futures cone, leave them below or contact me directly and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.